This playthrough is rated T for teen. If you fight to protect a man, you help him out, but only temporarily. But if you help a man to fight for himself, he'll protect himself forever. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm back here with another episode of Ark the Lad 3. In the last episode, we decided to investigate some spooky sounds. And we ended up getting caught up in a hole uh, trying to make the ultimate weapon a shot... Well, not the ultimate weapon, but a good gun, the shotgun, which, you know, in real life is pretty... Pretty solid gun, but unfortunately we weren't able to keep it. We had to leave it in a museum. Huh. Indiana Jones' legacy lives on even in video games. But, uh, but yeah, and also Cheryl found a person she liked, but found out he was a ghost, so... Oof. Well, I guess only the dead like Cheryl, apparently. But anyway, let's go on to another, another, uh, uh, couple of... Min well, last episode we only got one mission, but we'll try to do a couple today. They're a couple short, so let's grab another one. Uh, we also have to go help Sonya as well, but I'm grabbing this one right now. So, 54, traveling duo's great discovery. A brother and sister have found a mysterious item on a Madar mountain peak that appears to strengthen weapons. Contact them on the mountain to test their theory. Why does it sound familiar? This request is a little on the usual side, but we still accepted it. If you agree to do it, the job will start immediately. Yep, let's go do that now. The clients are waiting at the top of Mount Madar. Meet them at once. Yeah, we'll do the Sonya one, but this one... We'll get this one out of the way now, since it's on the way, so. Huh. People with big old backpacks. Nah, it's probably probably something else. Why is taking the hunter so long? He should have been here by now. I don't know. I hope he gets lo didn't get lost. Wait, brother. Someone's coming now. That looks like everyone's involved in this one. Hello, I'm Alec. The guild sent me. Good, 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 good. Extra, uh, question mark. I'm sorry. Don't mind my brother. Well, so, so, so is. Are you going to be all right? Oh, honestly, this is ridiculous. I'll tell them for you. My name is Lavina. I'm the one who requested your help at the guild, and this quivering mass is my brother. Uh, I'm I'm Al Al Alban. The job said you discovered an item? Y y yes we, 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 we... Buck up, Alvin. Spit it out. It's... Well, well, well I, I mean... He's probably got social anxiety or something like that. Uh, this is really sad to get on my nerves. Uh, I'm s s sorry. Fine, I'll tell them for you. You see, our whole family is traveling what's left of the world. When all our paths cross, we'll build our dream store there and sell fantastic goods. I guess it takes all kinds. This all seems very familiar somehow. Is Dorvin your father, Lumina? Yes, but how do you know that? <laughs> We're way too familiar with Dorvan. You met their father? Well, if you call letting the crazy Weezer try to kill us, yeah, we met. That nutcase gift wrapped us up for a pack of roving monsters. What? Hey, and uh, is Lumina's brother called Rovin? Yes, Rovin is my big brother. R R Rovin's j just a little y younger than me. Well, we met up with him too, and that little meeting nearly got us killed. Uh, 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 uh sorry? We harbor no ill will. It was an honest mistake, and we were there to do a job. We do whatever we are called on to do. You are a man of honor, thank you. I'm just glad to hear they're all okay. With us scattered, it makes me so nervous. Yeah, in the real world, they, one of them would have died just by a random accident, you know what I mean? Well, what are we here to do? Uh, uh, yes. When we came here, Lubina noticed that her sword began glowing. It was really bright and it caught our attention. A sword was glowing? Yes, and it gets stranger. When I looked at my feet, I saw an item. But it was an item still buried in the ground. The two of us tried to dig it out, but it's too large and buried too deeply, so we left it. Uh, however, th 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 this item, it, it seems to have the power to strengthen weapons. Since we are not skilled at using weapons, we can't judge its effectiveness. So we put in a request to the guild for a hunter to come. We decided hunter would know if it worked. So... So, we want you to ta walk over the area with your weapons. Th th then see if your weapons gave power to make battling monsters easier. 
I see. Oh, I had an idea this is where we were headed. Well, what do you think? I think this is one job you can do without. The family's all crazy. <laughs> but you heard them. It strengthened weapons. Can you imagine how much money we could make? No, they think it strengthens weapons. Big difference. P -p please you have to help us. You're our last resort. Everyone else refused. Well, good reason. Please help us. If this works, we can finally open that shop with our family. But... Please... Dot, dot, dot. What's the big deal? It's not like we're drinking a potion or anything. She's right. Besides, we accept the job at the guild. It's our job to finish it. You can still refuse, though. To wealth! Thank you so much for reconsidering. The strange thing I saw is buried there. Right at his feet. Me first! Me first! Lutz stood, Lutz stood over the mysterious item. Oh, it casts a cure spell on him. Oh, did you see that? Sparkles! Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Okay, okay, my turn. Cheryl stood over the mysterious item. Everyone seems to be getting healed. I'll be damned, it does sparkle. I suppose I'm next. Won't really work too much on her. You shouldn't really be attacking uh, physically with Mar Marcia. Ooh. This is definitely interesting. My turn now. Alex stood over the mysterious item. We're legend is holding it up. I wonder what these sparkles are really doing. Huh. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll pass. Come on, scaredy pants. Uncle Lutz will help you. This won't hurt a bit. Aw! Oh! Theo was pushed over the mysterious item. No, no, this is all wrong. You shouldn't have done that. Don't you remember what happened before? We don't need to have everyone try this. Hey, you know what? I think you're right. A little too late for that, Lutz. Oh, well, too late now. Yes, unfortunately. Well, it does seem to have affected our weapons. Well, then it's all good, isn't it? Oh, what's wrong, Theo? My card! What about your card? I can't sense any power from the card! Uh-oh, Yugi would be mad. Or was it Yami? Whatever. It's, stra it's strange, that never happened before. Now that he mentions it, I sense... Since what, Marcia? That the power of Gaia magic has just vanished. Wait a minute, this is starting to make sense! I believe you're right, but I don't like where this is headed. The weapons didn't shine because they were getting stronger. The sparkles were draining the power from everything but the weapons. Wow, I never would have guessed that one. Amazing! Yeah, amazingly bad for us. Huh? Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. At least we're not getting attacked by monsters this time. That would suck. Uh, 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 excuse me. Hold on, we're trying to figure what, what to do now. Uh, no, 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 you don't understand. Right, we didn't understand that our magic items and spells would be drained. We're trying to fix that. No! More? What are you? Some kind of weirdos that like to see other people suffer? We aren't getting on that thing again. It, 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 it. He's trying to say there are monsters over there. What the? Gosh darn Jack in the Box? Great, from bad to worse. Albin, Lumina, run away. We'll have to take care of this. Y yes. Let's get out of here. This isn't going to be easy. We can't use Gaia Magic or Monster cards. That leaves us with only our weapons and our wits. If that's all, Lutz is a dead man. Hey, enough of that talk. We need to band together to win this. Monsters must be defeated using only weapons and no magic. Luckily, the monsters we're fighting are not really that much of a threat. Don't bring Marseille because her physical attacks are terrible, so. Even with the weapons I've given her, so. Just use everyone else. You might consider giving Alec a gun or something like that, just to give him some range if you want. 
But uh, but yeah, we can't use any abilities. So only only attack and uh, uh, weapons and stuff like that. But luckily, you can hit from pretty far away. Yeah, no, unfortunately, no cheap like, you know, <coughs> hit killing everyone in one go. Because most of these guys. Oh, by right the way, it's uh, a wild emoji and five man eaters. By the way. Oh, nice, getting a little. Yeah, everyone should. Oh yeah, obviously you can't heal, so. So hopefully you have enough herbs or amazing herbs or something like that to uh, uh, heal yourself. But luckily they won't take a lot of damage, so. But yeah, we still get our automatic healing from the armor I've got, so no challenge there. So, so yeah, if you've got the magic armor or whatever, then yeah. Oh yeah, uh, sniper rifles can shoot through multiple targets, by the way, for those gears. Weirdly enough, Theo is actually a higher level than Alec at this point. Alright. Get a little for Alec. But yeah, it's really easy. Even if you didn't have a as high a level as I do to the items, as long as you uh, keep back to yourself and back to back so you don't get attacked from behind and all that, you'd be fine. I don't know how we did it, but I'm glad. Are you all okay? 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 How can we be okay? We just about got pounded into fertilizer just now. And it was thanks to you and your weapon enhancer. We had no idea. We must, you must believe us. We would never have put you through that if we'd known what would happen. Yeah, well, it doesn't make my boo-boos feel any better. She's, she's right. We had no idea. I apologize on behalf of my whole family. Well, in any case, it turned out all right. The monsters are defeated and we're still alive. If Waltz had pushed me into the power drain thing, everything would have been even better. Hey, I was just doing it because I thought it'd make you more powerful. Well, let's be an idiot. It makes more people more powerful, apparently. Next time, spare me the favors. Okay, guys, enough. I don't know how to thank you all properly. We really do owe you our lives. And now we must we know the effect of the item, so we must never use it used it again. I know we can't make this up to you, but I want to tell you something to try to make up for your pain. I, I want to give you information about weapon synthesis. When you weaponize a rune wand with a magic power nut, you end up with a magic stick. I already know how to make one of those without using a magic power nut. Woohoo! Alright! Yeah, apparently that just fixes everything. Magic stick. Sounds like something that would benefit Marcia. I hope I can master it. What kind of weapon is it? Sounds interesting. It, it increases the usage frequency of magic. You synthesize a room one with a magic power nut, right? I remember that. Once our family opens a shop, be sure to come by and visit us anytime. We'll, find, we'll d certainly do that if we can find you. Here, I've been something to give you as an apology as well. Woohoo! I'm up for presents. No, this gift is for you, the for Theo, though it'll benefit you all. This is for me? Yes, I want you to have it. I'm sorry your stupidity nearly got us all killed. It's no big deal, really. Nevertheless, I want you to have this card. Will you take it? Yeah, yes, of course. Thank you. We got a Dryad Monster card. That was my favorite card. I hope it serves you well. Well, it's not as good as Exodia, but you know, if it's a blue eyes white dragon, maybe. I'm sure it will. Thank you. What? What's wrong, Lutz? Uh, n nothing. Uh, nothing at all. I'll guess this job's done. No, not not just yet. Next question mark. Let's review what just happened. Here, Theo, sweetie pants, take my monster card. This is for me, honey babe, I just met. Yes, honey pot, I want to get to know you better. I'm so sorry. I nearly got you killed, and I want you to take this lovely card. It's no big deal, because I want to seem stronger than I am, baby cakes. 
Will you take this so we can make a love connection? What? <laughs> yeah, don't hurt me. Idiot. What is Lutz a shipper? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Maybe we have to, to, to go soon. We'll meet again soon. Goodbye. Yes. If you ever see our family along the way, please tell them my brother and I are fine. No problem. No problem, sweetie hottie love. What? <laughs> okay, well, okay, we're done. This job is over. It would have gone even smooth if it wasn't for lots. Yeah, but we got some great synthesis info in the apology. Anyway, this job is a success. Job 40, 54 complete. All right, let's report. That was a funny little one. Just, <laughs> just for lots of the uh, just going a little bit crazy with that. Okay, now with that job out of the way, let's go see Sonya and see how uh, she's doing. She apparently she doesn't want someone coming around too often, even though that's probably how she makes her money. But okay. Whatever you say, Sonya. You don't want maybe maybe the guy's just annoying her to the point of like, okay, I don't want you around anymore, even though you're paying me every time I get your services. So. You don't plan on working there forever? Are you sure? Oh, if you say so. I mean, yeah, you probably unless you're going to be running the restaurant or something like that. I probably wouldn't work as a cashier at a restaurant for the rest of your days, unless you really care about that, I guess. But you should always use like the food industry and uh, and uh, uh, stuff like that as a stepping stone to something better, you know? That's why I feel like. Not, not against people who work in the food industry their whole lives, but it depends on where you're working at, really. If you're working at like this upscale restaurant that pays you really good, and you want to do that for the rest of your days, like if you're a fancy chef in a place like that, then that makes sense. But if you're working at like a, a fry grill at a, at a fast food place, you know, unless you're getting paid quite a bit, I would probably try to raise your expectations and get something a bit more higher paying later on, if you know what I mean. Eh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the same as before. I was just seeing if you guys had any different dialogue, so. You know, only libations. Okay, that's the same. Okay, let's talk to Sonia. Sonia, we've come to you. I know why you've come, Alec. I have foreseen your arrival and waited patiently for that time to come. Or you you knew you sent the request, so someone was going to come eventually. What? You have come to fulfill my request to the guild, correct? Uh, yes, that's that's right. Good. My my problem is that I have a customer who comes to depend on my abilities too greatly. He'll not make a decision without consulting me now. How'd uh, that happen? After the great disaster, he was so depressed he was powerless to do anything. I felt pity for him, so I gave him free advice for my crystal. His life improved and he credited me for all of it. Oh, you gave him free advice. Yeah, best rule of uh, the world, folks. If, you, if you're good at something, never do it for free. He began to prosper, got a good job, even got a girlfriend. Well, that's great. No, he feels that he had no hand in his success. And because of losing everything once, uh, oh, once in the great disaster, he is fearful of that happening again. So now he'll not do anything of his own accord. He consults me for the most minute details of his life. Wow, that's weak. I know that his girlfriend has grown tired of his reliance on my skills as well. She probably also thinks she's probably hanging out with her too often and not enough with her, you know? You know, you know how uh, jealous, jealous ladies can get. It's just a matter of time before he loses her over it. My advice is just to help make decisions and not to dictate decisions. This whole affair makes me very uncomfortable. Wait, he comes? Uh, what? I don't hear anything. Speak of the devil. Oh, right, Leia, hold on. I'll just be a moment. Dot, dot, dot. Hey. Just stand over here and listen. Sonia, hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you helping someone else? No, they were just interested in my services. Really? Well, let me tell you, you should love her advice. Sonia's fortune talent is the best, no doubt about it. Follow her advice to the letter and you're golden. Dot, dot, dot. Now, now, don't under overstate my talents. My client's effort is the most important component of success. Bah, you're too modest, Sonia. I know everyone does, uh, everyone, I know you're great. Everyone does that, has that, knows that. You took me from nothing and made me into somebody. I'll never forget that. Dot, dot, dot. 
Anyway, I came here today to ask where I should go if I date this afternoon. You can't decide that on your own. Was I asking you? I don't think so. Anyway, what do you think, Sonia? Let me see what the crystal says. Sonia? Dot, dot, dot. I see Lake Roma. Lake Roma, got it, thanks. Is there where a lot of rock monsters would be about? I could hardly, I could hardly wait to see what great things happen there this time. The last time we saw the most amazing sunset there. That time before that, we found a whole cache of delicious tree bear nuts. Every time we go on a date that Sonya picks, something great happens. I mean, if that happened to me, I would kind of rely on her too. If if, if I had a, you know, a golden ticket to life, you know, I can hardly wait to see what happens this time. Okay, Leia, are you ready to go now? Oh, he's dating the, the uh, hostess. Well, you certainly chipper now. He's definitely completely into your fortune telling, Sonya. Yes, but he misunderstands what the, purp the purpose of what I do. He gives credit to me for everything when he's responsible for much of his success. But there will be a time to speak of that later. You must follow him. This is your chance to open his eyes. What? Actually, I saw bad things from him at Lake Roma, but I sent her there anyway. Wait, wh why'd you do that? I want to teach him not to rely just on my fortune telling. But what gives you the right? You're putting his life in danger. Actually, his girlfriend asked that I do that. Wow, what a... what a witch. What kind of girlfriend is that? The one he left with, the one who's as concerned with him as I, apparently. The lesson might put them in danger, but she felt that it was a lesson that must be learned. And I agree, though. I do not wish him physical harm. I see. And that's just where you come in. I want you to watch over them both. Well, I guess we're getting paid, so... Dot, dot, dot. We'll give it our best shot. Alright, so we have to convince this guy to be self-reliant, huh? Alright. This should be easy, right? Yeah, good thing this is a video game and not real life. Let's go hide the bushes. Let's be voyeurs. Ah, oh, this is perfect. Sonny was right again. Dot, dot, dot. What's wrong? You look like you're troubled. Oh, it's nothing. Well, that's good. This is going to be a perfect day. Sonny said it would be, and I believe her. Key word, guys, uh, uh, your girl or whoever you're dating does not want to hear about other girls all the time. They don't mind hearing about it every once in a while if it's something interesting, but if you talk about them every day, they're going to think you're cheating on them or you're not interested in them anymore. So, Man, this, that guy is too wrapped up in Sonya's predictions. Well, at least he's kind and treats his girlfriend well. He had the last session just to find the perfect place for a date with her. Yeah, he does care about her. It's just, you know, like I said. Yeah, but there's something creepy about a person and that personally indecisive. I think you've gone too far with that judgment. What, are you defending him, Marcia? No, I just said he's not a bad person. Look, arguing here isn't going to solve anything. Well, Thea, what do you think? I thought you'd never ask. Shh, they're going to hear us. <laughs> and then Theo doesn't even get to answer. Leah, remember? This was where we had our first date. Right, how could I ever forget that? It was so sweet, you told me you had no token of love to give me. So you dove into the freezing lake and gave me a pretty shell. What a man. Dot, dot, dot. I still carry it with me. Did you notice it on my necklace? Yeah, people care about you and they like, and they, and they care about what you give them, even if it's nothing minor. They'll keep it on them either as a necklace or a gift or a memento or something like that, so. What a romantic. I think it's embarrassing that you have only that as a token of my love. Forget about it. What? I'll get you something better, much better. I just need to ask Sonya where to find it. Stop that. What, you don't want a better bobble? No, I love you. I just want a token of your love. You pick, not Sonya. But I am going to get it. I just need her to tell me where the best... Stop. Stop it. But I'm doing my best for you. But your best just isn't good enough. Serious dysfunction. Dead ahead. 
I know, wait here, I'll go ask Sonya how to make this better. In the middle of your date? Stop it, just stop it. Why must you always go to that fortune teller? Oh, uh, Alec, man. Alec, things are getting pretty tense over there. Uh, we better watch and wait, because we need him to fix his own problem, so. Sorry, we're going to have to be callous in this episode. You want to let them keep fighting like this? Are you sure, Alec? It's not the best way, but we have to see if they can work this out. But what if they don't? Uh, guys, guys, heads up. What's that noise? Is somebody there? They almost heard us. Uh, hi. Yeah! Dot, dot, dot. Leia! Monsters? This is not good! Come on, we gotta help them! Marcia, let's go. I can't believe... I can't believe Sonya... Uh, I can't believe Sonya knew there'd be this many monsters, Alec. Their lives are in danger. All the more reason you need to stop talking and jump in. What do we do now? Uh, so, there's another case of, uh, we need to see what he does to this situation. So, yeah, you say come here and run away or stay silent. We're just gonna let him get attacked, Alec? It'll be fine. We'll just stand at the ready, just in case this gets out of hand. Cheryl, remember what Sonya said. He needs to do this on his own. Right. I wonder if Sonya saw how rough this is gonna get for them. She had to have. Like Alex said, we need to stay ready to jump in. This gets out of hand. Yeah, you got a sniper rifle. I think you could pot shot them if it really comes down to it. Yeah, do something. Oi. Oi, oi. Yeah, please. They're gonna kill us. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, he's just standing there. What an idiot. Looks like he's frozen. Huh. Uh, I was gonna... Never mind. I don't like that movie anyway. So... Let's just hit the monster already, guys. I think he's trying... I think he's trying to solve what to do. Maybe Sonya's plan is working. We're gonna have to jump in if he doesn't make a decision soon. Oh, you guys, uh, help us! Yeah. Answer. You're on your own, dude. <laughs> yeah, we gotta be super callous in this episode. What? What are you denying help to ones in need? What kind of hunter are you? Yeah, you can do this. Just make a decision. Well, yeah. While you're brave, <laughs> before you die, the choice is pretty clear. Just tap into your courage. You must have at least a little. Do you love Leia because of Sonya or because of what you feel inside? Trust your feelings. Trust your feelings. You know it to be true. Trust in the force of the dark side. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, you know, the force, anyway. And make a decision. By myself? I'm surprised the monsters are letting them get have this conversation. They're just sitting there going, Oh, the humans are just doing their talking, showboating thing, so we'll let them finish up because we're we're considerate monsters. You did it before you met Sonya. The ability must be within you. Show your strength. Yeah, the Schwartz is inside you. All time all the time. Yeah. Well yeah, this way, come with me. Watch out! Ooh. Well, now that that's out of the way, how about we take care of these pests? I thought you'd never ask. Alright, now we can actually fight these guys, so, uh... Probably they're just summoning something to beat them, so, uh... Well, anyways. But anyway, we've got ourselves, uh, three dragoons and two man-eaters. So, nothing, nothing we can't handle, so... Eh. Yeah, I could just knife right him. Nice, nice. Alright, and then yeah, we can snipe a couple of them. Yeah, I need to get those levels, baby. Oh, we got a Thames room for them. All right, let's uh, let's see who do we want to summon. Um, let's see. Let's uh, show off the mic I did. It paralyzes people.
Ah, I missed a couple of you guys. Now let's see if he paralyzed works. Probably will. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but has a high chance of uh Well, I, I consider it 50% uh, high chance anyway. Oh wow, we're actually getting pretty lucky. Huh. Well, anyway, let's uh, cast a uh, light arrow, so because of the dark, the dragoons. Oh, what HP? Crazy. Alright, I'll just leave it up to you. Uh... I'll let uh, Marcia finish him off to get the experience. Just to cast a spell, I don't care what it actually is, so. Well, that's done. Now we just need to check on them. Sorry, I accidentally pressed the button. <laughs> but pretty much that's the gist. I guess they ran all the way back. I'm so happy you're all right. I still wonder why those monsters attacked suddenly. After all, you saw that Robo Lake was the best place for a date. I, I have something to confess. Actually, I saw that bad things would happen there. What? Oh my god! What were you trying to do? Get us killed? Yeah, don't be mad at her. I asked her to do it. Oh, this is just priceless. What else have you been plotting behind my back? Uh-oh. Yeah, it's not like that. I did it because I love you. You put us in danger because you love you? Women, am I right? Well, that's one hell of a way to show it, pussycat. Pussycat, pussycat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, way, listen. I, yeah, listen. I was just afraid that you were relying too much on Sonia's fortune telling. You were losing your sense of self, losing that part I fell in love with. Yeah, you could have brought that to his attention yesterday. Because, you know, this whole situation is the fault of all parties. Like, the guy for being reliant on Sonya. Sonya not having the, the, the guts to tell him otherwise. And then uh, her to not to basically give tell tell him straight up that that's what she felt. If, you know, guy, guys were not mind readers. You know, you have to tell us what you're feeling sometimes. We can't just see the subtle signs. You know, you can't see the signs. Open up your eyes and see the signs, you know. Yeah, Leia thinks you're important enough for her to risk her whole your whole reputation to help you see what was happening. She wanted you to see that my fortune talent doesn't decide anything. It just shows possibilities. I don't know what to say. Please just tell me you still love me. That'd be funny if they just uh, break up after that. Actually, I think if you choose the wrong options, I think that happens. But anyway, it's been forever. Like I said, it's been forever since I've done the purposely raw decisions in these quests, so I don't remember. Leia. Dot, dot, dot. Well, out with it. All right, way to ruin the moment, Lutz. I, I love you so much. Yeah, just like at the leg. Well, this turned out well. Look at our two left but Shh. Were you watching us? Well, that's, uh, never mind. Sonia, I don't know what we would have done without your help. And you too, Hunter. The only thing that bothers me a little is that Leia planned this. I knew nothing about it. That should make you happy. She's a very intelligent lady who loves you very much. Well, when you put it that way, I guess I have nothing to complain about. I'll be back for you again soon. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye, Yam. Well, maybe I'll turn out all right in the end. You all did great. That even worked out better than I foresaw. Well, I'm just glad that, or sorry, I'm just glad they're still together. That seems very right for each other. Or they seem very right for each other. Indeed. Well, that's a success. We should report to the guild, I suppose. Alright, job done. It's a little too early to uh, call it an episode. I mean I could. But let's get some uh let's get some outlaws taken care of while we're at it. That shouldn't take too long at all, so. Alright, am I healed up? I don't think so. Nah, let me do that really quick.
Okay, we're here at the Remaster River. We found the Bolton Wing, one of the monsters we can fight here. Also at Remaster River, there's uh, uh, three different groups that can appear here. You can find uh, pen, pen Plants, uh, Fungus, and then obviously this guy is unique for this one. But yeah, you can find Pin Pin Plants and Funguses. You can also find two Alarunes and two Funguses. You can also find a Pin Pin Plant, Alarune, and a couple Funguses. So let me see if I can capture a Fungus. Um, but I want to obviously defeat the Molten Wing. And the Molten Wing has a Wind Fragment you can steal from them. So All right, we've already captured the Pin Pin Plant, so I can just finish these guys off with no problem. <clears throat> Now let's uh, silence these guys. They don't cause too much trouble. <clears throat> now let's see, how much life do they have? Now let's go on and uh, summon someone just to... Oh, I could have used that. Uh, I've got another battle I could use it on. Um, actually, I'll leave. I'll leave well enough alone. Have to heal. Uh, what's after this? <clears throat> and it's taking a bit of oh yeah, I healed. Obviously, I cut to when I healed and came back here. So, okay, that should be enough to uh, cardish him. Either one of them, I guess. All right. I don't want to accidentally uh, have her finish the mob, so I'll just have her attack these guys. Nice job, Marcia. Yeah, because of her magic being so powerful, it's easy for her to kind of, uh, um... Ah. This might take a couple tries. Because I think stealing also work, affects stuff when it comes to levels, too, I believe. Let me go ahead and heal you, just because you took some damage. Yeah, see if we can capture them. Nice. And finish you off with magic. All right, now I'll try to steal that uh, wind fragment from him. If I don't do it now, I'll come back to when I steal it. Oh, there you go. Never mind. I was that that happens quite more often than you realize, folks. <laughs> Where I'm just like, okay, I'll I'll take a while to beat him, and then he. Uh... Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage. <clears throat> oh well. Let's uh, land X him. <clears throat> All right. All right, that's the first guy. All right, like all areas, every area will have two characters. So the next one is the uh, Grief Lord Mandrake. So I'll be right back when he appears. Alright, we found the Doppler. Sorry, on the previous enemy I mentioned before, that's actually in a different level. I was looking at my wrong place on my notes, and the uh, the Remaster uh, River or whatever only has one enemy. Because this place actually has, like, uh, um, a couple different spots you can go to. So this is the Roma Lakeshore, so sorry about that. But anyway, uh, it's the Doppler Night, uh, night uh, Caller. So he's level 40, 147 attack, 16 defense, 107 HP, 0 MP. He can, he drops a dark fragment. Uh, does do a lot of damage, so card field would be really good for this one. And this place has dragoons and man eaters. However, let me look at my random encounter notes here. So the Rumble Lake Shore can either have six man eaters, five man eaters, two dragoons, or three man eaters and four dragoons. I think I might have mentioned that earlier, but I wanted to uh, reiterate that for those who are curious what enemy formation is going to appear here. So. All right, let's go ahead and uh, knife rain. No one sounds like it says knife lane. 
But anyway. Alright, get a level. Yeah, I've been getting a little behind on level gaining, to tell you the truth. So. Um, yeah, I kind of stood in the wrong spot. Let me see if I can. Whoops. Uh, oh, I forgot that the line of dialogue is there. It says a nice slot, but everyone's alive on that, so that's funny. Uh, if I, actually, if I move... Oh, wait, no, I don't think I can. I was going to get force ring over there. Yeah. Wow, I could just wrecked him. Uh, let's, uh, let's do... Let's show off the uh, Crystal Gargoyle. Man, the Crystal ja Gargoyle is jacked! <laughs> anyway, let's, uh... Ah, oh, we paralyzed the guy so we, we can uh, kind of steal from him for a while. Alright, let's see if we can try to steal from him. Get that uh, dark element. Might take a couple tries, but luckily paralysis lasts for quite a while. I don't know how many turns, unfortunately, but I guess I could use card field while we were waiting, but... All right, I'll try one more time on screen, and then after that, I'll, I'll come back when I steal from him. Now, I keep hoping that'll actually work every time, as like some weird, uh, what's the word? Some weird like uh, uh, superstition or something like that. But nope. Oh yeah, so I was gonna cut to when I uh, stole from him. So all right, I'll be back in a second. There we go, we got it. it only took a couple turns, and yeah, his paralysis eventually wore off, so... Oh well. Now right, let's have Marseille finish him off. And since he's Dark Elemental, Light Arrow will be the way to go. Of course, we haven't done any damage to him yet, so, you know. Could've hit him off screen, but I wasn't sure how much damage was gonna do with the Light Arrow, so... There we go. And the Doppler has been defeated. The other two encounters are at uh, Kayo, uh, Ka Ka Kayo and wait, Kayo and Lake or River. I mean, I don't know why I said that. So, which is um, I believe over it's supposed to be like over here, I think. Yeah. Um, but we'll take care of that next episode. But what awaits us for the final uh, regular quest before we get back into uh, back into the plot? Perhaps it has to do with the troubles, love troubles of a monk? We'll find out what happens next time in the next episode of Ark the Lad 3. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.